The most common misconception about security is that it is inherently good. Security is a tool. Security is not inherently good or bad. If security is a tool, then the question should not be if the tool is good or bad. The question should be, is the current use of this tool hurting me or helping me? After all, the most important thing about a hammer is, is it hitting my finger? Or maybe, is it fixing my house? <laughs> Unless you're my son-in-law. Brian really loves tools. Security is an assurance about situations, processes, or goals. But if you are not involved with the security decisions, then others are defining the agenda. Other people's agenda is other people's security. Other people's security has a good chance of being in opposition to your own. Of course, not all opposition is bad. Your own security has a good chance of helping you, but of course not all your own situations, processes, goals, and security are good. Microsoft created a great example of misleading security with their Secure Boot BIOS setting. Microsoft said it would reduce the threat of malware by eliminating unauthorized changes in a computer's bootloader. But almost all malware works just fine without changing the bootloader. And only Microsoft can authorize changes to Secure Boot. So the effect of Secure Boot is to take control away from the owner of the computer and give it to Microsoft. And in return, the owner gets nothing, nothing at all, absolutely butt kiss. This is insecurity for everybody but Microsoft. In this case, Microsoft security decreases security worldwide. But still, almost everybody who inspects their computer BIOS settings leaves secure boot enabled because it says secure. The problem is, even if Secure Boot reduces security for everybody but Microsoft, well, it's still a security measure, so we still call it security. Microsoft isn't the only one that uses the security name to sell things that hurt almost everybody. This is actually a fairly common behavior. You see it in computer vendors, security vendors, governments and the current efforts to sell mass surveillance as security. We need new words. We need words for security that helps everybody. Security that helps just one group. Security that advances the agenda of an evil maniac but hurts everybody else and makes small children cry. We also need words for broken security that doesn't help anybody. But now, all we have is a single word, and that word can mean all these things. When you hear the word security, you must learn to analyze before you can decide if it's good or bad. But the sad truth is, if you do not have influence over the security decisions, then security usually advances somebody else's agenda. When security advances an agenda that opposes your own, there's a good chance that instance of security is bad for you.